Have you had enough of motorcycle theft? Here's what you can do to fight it. Are you as upset about motorcycle theft as we are? You have every right to be. MAG research using 2021 data showed that motorcycles make up over 25% of all recorded vehicle thefts. This is despite the fact that motorcycles make up just 3% of all registered vehicles in the country. As a motorcyclist, you are 11 times more likely to become a victim of vehicle theft than someone who owns a car. That is a national average. Some areas are better than others. Some are worse, a lot worse. The worst comparative risk area we found in the 2021 figures was actually Humberside, which had a risk factor of 35 times the risk for cars. Of course, for sheer volume of motorcycle theft, the worst affected area is London, with over 60 motorcycles stolen out of every thousand registered. So how do we get this issue to be given the level of attention it deserves? There are many factors that will help reduce motorcycle theft, including effective prevention, with fit-for-purpose secure parking, better policing and a stronger deterrent for offenders. MAG's ongoing campaign work has seen us pushing for better secure parking infrastructure and giving riders the opportunity to hold police forces and their police and crime commissioners to account. But this year, we have real leverage because all the incumbent and prospective PCCs want your vote on the 2nd of May. So, let's nail their feet to the floor. No, not the thieves, the police and crime commissioners. We have better ideas for the thieves. Police and crime commissioners, PCCs, are elected representatives in England and Wales with responsibility for policing in their respective patches. Currently, there are three forces where the regional mayor has the PCC responsibility. These are London, Greater Manchester and West Yorkshire. Potentially, the West Midlands Mayor will also be taking on the PCC role for West Midlands Police. Whoever wins each of the elections in the police force areas, we need them to take the issue of motorcycle theft seriously. PCC elections in May this year present the perfect opportunity to accelerate our efforts to make this happen. MAG is launching the Fight Motorcycle Theft Pledge, asking all candidates for Police and Crime Commissioner to make this simple three-point pledge. We are sending details of the pledge, along with supporting information, to every candidate seeking to take on the PCC responsibilities on the 2nd of May. We are asking them to make the pledge publicly, preferably by submitting a short video, which we will, of course, share through all our media channels. But it doesn't end there, and this is where you can help. We are asking for the support of all riders. Question the candidates and make it clear that the pledge will be a vote winner. If all the candidates make the pledge, we will win by default. We can assure you that we will hold them accountable for following through when they are in post. What is the pledge? There are three points. All are entirely reasonable and deliverable by the elected politician. First, to set a quantifiable four-year goal. Second, to hold the relevant chief constable accountable for publishing progress towards the goal. And thirdly, to work in partnership with all the stakeholders on the issue. We have been careful to define the victims as motorcyclists so that it cannot be twisted into deal with moped-enabled crime or diluted with issues around antisocial riding. Both enabled crime and antisocial riding are entirely legitimate issues that need to be dealt with, 
but not at the expense of dealing with the core issue, which is the theft of our machines. The three pledge points are 1. I will work to halve motorcycle theft in my jurisdictional area by the end of my four-year term in office. 2. I will work for the victims, motorcyclists, to hold the Chief Constable to account for the performance of the operational police response, requiring regular published progress reports towards my goal of halving motorcycle theft by 2028. 3. I will proactively work with the victims, that's motorcyclists, to ensure that a local multi-agency approach to creating a meaningful prevention strategy is adopted, including riders groups, police, local authorities, the Crown Prosecution Service and the judicial system. We are stepping up the war on bike thieves in 2024. Getting the political commitment to match our efforts is key. If you want to see the numbers coming down, exercise your right to vote and use the pledge to ensure that you are voting for a politician that will be tied to delivering results. If you communicate with any PCC candidate or incumbent PCC, your first question to them should be, have you signed up for the Fight Motorcycle Theft Pledge?